Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And uh, today's video, it's all about Pixie Booting. PXE Booting. Now, if you guys don't know what Pixie Booting is, is it a method of having an in computer client uh, to boot using only its network card? Us IT people normally use it to push out an image to reformat the hard drive on a computer slap on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or server and uh, rebuild it automate it to the point when you come back it's already completed okay rather than placing a CD and installing it now uh, there was a big battle of wits in my job and uh, some of the IT guys was basically saying that uh, using WDS from Windows size was a better method of pixie booting I say to himself uh, how about Ubuntu how about Linux Linux is able to do pixie booting as well they challenge me saying that there's no way in heck that a Linux OS is able to pixie boot so this is the video that I am gonna throw them throw at, at, at their face <laughs> you know so let's get started. So I did some research and I found out that this application called Fog uh, is a great, great free computer cloning solution. It's free. You know that's the best thing about Linux. Uh, some of the projects is open source. You be, you're able to manipulate it the way you want it, and you're good to go. Now the OS that I'm running is 10.0.4 LTE from Ubuntu, and the reason why is because I tested out with the latest version of Ubuntu and it wasn't working. I was getting an Apache error. I don't know why, but uh, as soon as I used 10.0.4 from Ubuntu, it started working with no problem. So hopefully, that will work. So the next, uh, what you guys want to do, you want to log, you know, go to the site. I will place this site at the bottom of the description so you guys could go check it out. Go into the download section. Uh, within the download section, it's going to take you to Source uh, Forge. Go to Fog. And within Fog, download the latest one, which is 0 0.32. I already did that, so I'm going to close the browser. And I'm going to show you guys that I have it right here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's open up our trusty friend, the terminal command. And within the terminal command, I'm going to do a cd backslash uh, op, because I need to get into the opt. And uh, you want to do an mkdr dash p and you want to create this folder oh permissions denied I need to run a sudo command make sure you run that sudo command because that folder is locked and then from here I want to see the fog and I'm in it awesome it's empty good to go uh, the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to copy this particular file uh, the file that you downloaded, the fog tar, you want to download it. Uh, you actually want to copy inside the fog dash setup. You want to actually uh, uncompress it in there and then run the install. I don't know why, but this is what I found online. And when I tried that out, it worked. Hopefully, it works with you guys. So I'm going to do a cp, actually, do a sudo, a cp dash i. I'm going to drag it and drop it here so I can get the link. And then I gotta give it the copy, the, you know, the destination of where I want that to be dropped in. Hit enter, and let's go inside the file system, op folder, and there it goes. Now it's time to uh, decompress it or uncompress it, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'm gonna do a sudo uh, and tar dash xvzf, I believe. No, no, wait, wait. XVZF and then fog. I'm gonna give it an asterisk because I don't want to type all that nonsense and it is going to uncompress it for us. Awesome. So once it's uncompressed, you want to do a CD fog. I'm gonna do star so I can get into the folder. Clear that out. And from here you want to go into CD bin. And within CD bin, you want to do a sudo dot forward slash install fog dot sh, which is a shell script. And you want to run that now before you even run this you got to make sure that you give your machine a static IP address now with uh, 10.04 it's a little easier because they give you a nice little GUI that you could go in there and edit your 
uh, unique card uh, your IP4 I gave it a static IP address if you guys are um, what you call it if you have a machine already plugged in into your network and you're receiving a DSCP IP address and you don't know what the IP address is on your terminal on your actually Ubuntu server not terminal uh, open up a terminal and you basically do a mnm dash tool command and it will give you the information that you want your DNS your gateway and all that stuff that you guys are plugged in hardwired you don't know how to get your IP address okay so I'm gonna exit out of this uh, and let's get back to this so uh, yes by default it's two number two is because of Ubuntu these are the platforms that it works with the best okay hit enter uh, what type of installation you would like? I'm gonna hit enter because the default is in, and we want a normal server. If you guys don't understand between the normal server and storage mode node, uh, go with the normal server. I, that's what I did. Normal server, and the IP address is what's assigned to my physical machine. Uh, I hit enter, hit enter, enter, enter. It's a lot of enter. But don't don't hit enter constantly because there's one portion that you need to hit no, and it's this section right here. You don't need the version of Fog that has international support. Would you like to install the additional? I'm gonna hit no on that because I don't want that. And it, are you sure you want to continue? Hit that capital yes. And it's gonna start preparing all it needs. It's gonna install PHP, Apache, uh, DSP server. It's gonna install all the stuff that it needs. Hopefully it goes well with you guys because I know I had troubles last time. Okay, so uh, you guys are going to get this press enter to acknowledge this message. I just received the update manager. I'm going to close this. Oh, another thing. Best practice, I'm not going to do it on this video, but best practice is once you got your machine up and running and you assign a static IP address on the machine, make sure you push all the updates on it. I didn't do it on this. I'm not. I didn't do it in this virtual machine because again, this is only for testing, and just to do the video so I can show these guys that you could do pixie booting within a Unix Linux OS, and it's better. Yes. And I'm gonna hit enter because I approve it, and it's gonna start doing its thing now because because Fog needs a database, it's gonna install MySQL. For what I read online, you don't need to assign a password. Do not assign a password to MySQL. I don't know why, but I don't think that's best practice. But I'm not going to do it because I don't want my installation to mess up. Uh, MySQL will prompt you about four or five times to uh, create a password for your root. Just hit OK. Don't give it anything. OK, so once you get to this point, it looks like you're almost done. When I first tested it out, I got to this point. I was like so happy. I was jumping with joy because I was having so many problems at the very beginning because. Uh, the OS is that I was using it wasn't working with the fog okay so I don't want to send anything so I'm gonna hit no and that's it we're com done we're just done 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 so uh, this is the link that you could go to I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna open up I don't know if I could click on it but whatever I'm gonna go to Firefox and let's go into this guy so it is There we go. Let me just move this to the side. And it is localhost. You can put localhost or the IP address. Remember, localhost is the same thing as your IP address. And uh, fog management. Hit enter. Once you do that, you're going to get this. You want to install and upgrade now. Click here. You're good to go. And then the password for now is fog password, but you guys can change that later on. And that's it guys that's how you install fog now you're basically saying okay you didn't do any pixie booting and uh, there's no images to push out wait a minute guys don't kill me uh, this video is only the first part on the later on videos I'm gonna show you guys how to have a uh, an actual image to push out with your new pixie server using fog and how to set it up and customize it but I don't want to. I don't want to leave you guys saying, okay, you just install something. But how do we know it actually works? No problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this guy a little bit. And uh, I already have. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. And I don't know. Let's give it. I'm just going to go other. And let's go to other. Just go other. I'm going to give it a name of BJ Test. I'm gonna drop it with my other 
virtual machines are at. There you go. Hit next. 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 I just want to show you guys something, and because because both of these machines are on the same network, and it's pixie booting. The pixie booting, what it does, it it broadcasts signals throughout your network to all your machines. So when your machine uh, is set up to pixie boot through its network card, it picks up that signal within your network, grabs it, and then your machine, your pixie, your pixie boot server pushes out these commands or this service to that machine to your client machine so BJ Tech is what that is I'm gonna start it up I'm gonna start it within the network and if everything goes well it's my DACP and there you go file computer cloning solution now uh, on later videos I'm gonna show you guys how to use this how to customize it how to insert an image to pixie boot from but uh, I, I'm I'm loving this, and the reason why I'm loving this is because it's free and it's easy. It's a little easier than setting it up on a Windows box because on the Windows box you have to purchase a license for Windows and then get it up and running. I don't know. This is looking better. You know, it's looking real good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please leave comments below, especially those Linux and Ubuntu lovers, as because uh, <laughs> I know they I know you guys are out there. Please leave comments below. Please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, at the description part, I'm going to shoot you guys a link uh, to where to get FOG as well as to get uh, Ubuntu 10.0.4. 10 and uh, there's other links in the bottom of the description that you guys can find me. My blog site, my Twitter, my Facebook. Show me some love there. Uh, I, I've just I created this tech forum that you guys can go in there, start chatting, talking to each other, feeding information, try to learn from each other. And I, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i catch you on the next one. Peace out!